All right, today I'm gonna go over uh, swinging dumbbell push press. Uh, I guess that's just the name that I call it for, it's just a descriptive term for what I'm doing. I could have said hinging and whatnot because essentially that's what I'm doing and the exercise is hinging, but I'm gonna explain the movement and still call it swinging dumbbell push press. So in the program, for example, my dynamic power speed program, you'll see swinging dumbbell push press, 30% uh, of total body weight, six sets of seven. That's what's gonna be. So again, what we're gonna do, it's kind of a combination of a few exercises. It's, it's the hip tilt and the hip swing we use for a kettlebell uh, swing with a catch phase, and then we're gonna get an extension phase without driving that rib cage too back, or too far back. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll quickly demonstrate the exercise and then break it down very as simply as I can. So. I says dumbbells, these essentially are serving the same purpose, these are center mass bells. So what you'll see is I'm going to start my swing with a glute contraction. This is where my hip tilt comes in, okay, the movement of my hip tilt. So from this position here, actually I'm just going to use that hip tilt to get to a front, front carry, front, front rack type position or a suitcase type carry with a kettlebell, center mass bell, dumbbell, whatever it may be. So I'm going to go from this position go into a hip hinge with a swing, come back to the catch, scoop press, glutes are tight, rib cage is neutral, back to, the new, back to this position, okay? In a slow motion type sense, okay, when I'm in this position here and I get the kettlebells, center mass bells or dumbbells in this position, basically I am tilting at the hips, so starting with a glute squeeze, tilting with the hips, this initiates the swing. The kettlebell gets back. It's going to look like the position you're going to jump from. My neck is neutral. Okay. My humerus is lined up with my torso. Okay. So from this position here, it's a swing. Boom. From this jumping position. Okay. This allows my hips to, to load the weight, return the weight back to a front rack. I go into a dip, press. Glutes are tight, glutes are tight, glutes are tight. Reset, okay? So again, the full movement, suitcase, we'll call it our front rack position, glutes are tight, I loosen my glutes, load the hamstrings, catch press, glutes are tight, glutes are tight, back in this position. Back to this position. Launch, catch press, ribs are neutral, back to this position. Again, I'm going to swing to my side to show you what we want to avoid. Okay, from this position, when I go into my swing, I don't want to catch ribs up. Okay, I want to catch, boom, from this position into the overhead press without loading, without stretching this position. I want glutes under me, okay, so I can keep my rib cage neutral, okay. So the, also the idea is, right, we don't want to pull, right, we don't want to pull too much to get to here, okay, we're getting here from this, this angle here, right, but what I'm not trying to do is lift, I'm not trying to do is lift, I'm using my glute contraction with a swing, this snap is what carries that weight up to catch, so then I'm, trans, then I'm transferring that catch position right into a press position. Because again, if I was gonna push press, I'm gonna load to press. So again, I'm going to a swing, pull, and I'm going right into that immediate catch, load, press, bam. Hips are neutral, rib cage is neutral, weight comes back down, glutes are tight, then I restart from there, okay? So again, we want the weight light so we can be fairly dynamic. We also want the weight light in that sense because just as we're getting into a bit of a metabolic uh, training like exercise type here, movement pattern is super, super important because again, the catalyst for force production isn't effort. It's the mechanical position, okay? So let's focus on getting in the right position now you can accumulate more workload at a much higher velocity, and that is how you develop more power and speed. 
as well as strength endurance.